Hello everyone, in this video I will teach you how an automation workflow works and also how you can get started. Stay tuned! Here we are in the dashboard and let's get to the automation workflow. There are a few ways that you can use. Uh, the quickest one would be through the quick actions widget here. You can see create workflow. If you don't have that, you would go to edit widget and create workflow. And if you don't have this widget, just go to add new widget. And otherwise you would go to tools, customize top menu, uh, and you would add automation to the top menu or, or uh, the easiest way um, in this sense that you don't have to do anything else would just be to go to tools and click automation. And here we are in this page, you will see a very similar one if you already have some automation created. And if you don't, you will see a little bit different, but you just need to click to create an, a workflow to see something similar. Let's just click here and then you will, you will be taken to the templates. We will be starting with a very simple one, which is the simple welcome message. And it's something that everyone should have which is when a customer subscribe, you should send them a welcome message. It's the most open email in the world. Let's just click uh, use template and you can also preview here just to see uh, how the template looks like. This is the automation workflow um, workspace. And uh, just to let you know how the automation works here is that uh, this in blue here is a condition. So if this happens, if someone subscribes uh, to any list via any method, in this case, uh, then an action would take place here, which is the message being sent. And you can configure here on the right the properties of uh, the condition here. And I will select a specific list, chat, uh, chat prospects, and then um, any method can be. And this option here is to include people who are already in this list, meaning that if you turn this on and publish the workflow, the people that are already in the list, they will enter this workflow. Let's keep it off for now. And here you have um, the message, which is an action in the workflow. And you can also configure the properties here. And now it is a drag and drop, meaning that uh, just drag here. And if we would do exactly the same scenario and drop, and then you link them just like here to just look like this. And just to exemplify um, a different scenario here, let's say we are using a filter. Let's say we will use a filter here and I will choose like this. And then you choose a condition on this filter. Let's say we want to use an existing segment and I have people who want discounts. Meaning here that the green part is uh, people who match this segment and the red part meaning people who don't, do not match. So in this case, as I didn't link to anything, they would just leave the workflow. And now let's see important things that you need to know about the workflow. On the left, you have a history that you can just click to go back. And well, you can also go forward. And then if you go to the right, you will have this little uh, wheel here, the gear. And here you change the workflow name. You can schedule the workflow to start at a specific day. This can be very useful if you are running some sort of campaign like Black Friday, Christmas, Easter and when the workflow should end. Then you click OK. And let's imagine that we are ready. Then we will just click Save and Publish here. And you will see exactly this page. And let's go back to all the workflows. And then that's how it would look like. If you want to unpublish, then you will just go here, Unpublish or to Publish. And then you can also duplicate and export the workflow or even delete. And you can use workflows for many scenarios, uh, specifically uh, to recommend products to your customers to, for abundant cards. And I have one of the examples here using the template called post purchase. And here is how it looks like. I just edited quite, just a little bit. I added just a tag here. And well, if someone purchases from uh, my school and depending on how much they spent, I would target them a little bit differently with different tags. And as you can see here, so meaning that if they spent less than $40, they will go through the left here, through the green. And if, if they spent a bit more, they will go through the right. And if it's more than 50, they would take the, the green here and go. And if it's in this case, I organize in a way that will be between 40 and 50, they would just take this last one. And you can do exactly the same. It's not so difficult. All you need to know is condition uh, needs to happen and then uh, an action will take place. And in between you have the filters. That's all you need to know to get started. And at the end of this video, you will see a button that will take you directly to this page and 
have fun with your workflows. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.